up guys? In this video, the two-stroke go-kart does that. So it's about that time. We're working on the KT100 again, so I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, thanks so much to all you guys who commented. We have a lot of ideas here. We're thinking it either has something to do with like the spark plug, the carburetor, or the fact that the gas tank didn't have enough downward pressure on it with fuel. So I think we're going to start with the spark plug, easy stuff like that. And we had got a new Go Power Sports tank. That's very nice and it's about the right size we need so it'll just swap in easily. So I think that's the first thing we'll get to. So yeah, let's get this in. So we got a nice location for our gas tank, or kind of the best we could. Hopefully we'll be able to fill it. And just mark these holes. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> mark right there. Thanks. <laughs> the mark, yeah. okay, there we go. Yeah, but we want this line to be as close to the engine as possible. So, because hopefully the downwards pressure on this will force fuel up into the carb. And then this carb does have an internal pump, but I don't know how strong it is, so it might need that back pressure. I just found some fuel lines. I hooked. I used this um, like joiner thing. It's not really focused, but basically the thing that I can connect these two hoses with, so I can lengthen that line right there. And it's nice that this clear lines on there because you'll be able to see if there's fuel, which there should be if the tank's full. Then, I'm looking for bolts, but somehow we have like 900 bolts, but I can't find any of the right ones. So, I think I might want this. Small ones. Okay. We're gonna have to give this one a little bit of angle. But that's why we're making a small hole so we can come from the bottom and do like a straight hole. Even though this is sheet, sheet aluminum, it probably doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, you <laughs> walked. Mm. Oh, Sweet. <laughs> we made it. KT100s call for uh, 20 to one. So we just are using this from our Rubbermaid. We just like measured with water, 20, and then like a little bit up. So we marked gas and oil. So we'll fill each of these up and then pour it into the gas tank and we'll be good to go. Something a lot of people said was new spark plugs. So I got a pretty nice one. And that's the first thing we'll do because while this did have spark, it could be pretty weak. So it's always good to just try to replace it. Especially if it's as simple as a spark plug. So, and I don't know, I, I was just doing some research about whatever the best spark plug would be or what people who race these run. And this is what the forum said, so, should be pretty good. I actually, before we do that, I'm gonna adjust the low idle screw just to see what works. Cause I, I haven't really gotten a clear answer on what it needs, so. Alright, so it's a little late. I'm going to go through the comments and do some research about how to adjust this. Because when I was turning it, it did, um, you know, it did, I heard a little, like, spurt of it trying to run. Okay, so now we're just fine-tuning the carburetor. And uh, right now I'm taking off this little plate and we're going to adjust the diaphragm. Okay. Try and um, suck up some fuel in the carb and make sure we're getting fuel. I'm gonna put my hand over the uh, intake. I think you have a little bit of air. Oh, oh yeah, definitely got fuel, but need some air now. Yeah, so maybe put your hand over like half of this stuff. Here.
clutch. Or see if the clutch has fluid. Uh, we're gonna just have to let it drip off. Yeah, just let it drip into that thing, it's fine. So we got some Mobile One Synthetic ATF. This is what the forums recommended, so. Okay, we just filled it up to 3 eighths with the fluid. And now we're just gonna check and see. Maybe the clutch is a little bit easier when we press the brake. say it ain't no predator
This thing's ridiculous. Look at that turning. Like the top speed isn't even the best part about this car. It's the fact that you can pull G's. Like literally, literally G's. Watch this turn. Hey guys, let us know if that clutch is okay, because it seems like it's taking a lot of RPM to start engaging, but we just don't know. It went 50 with this giant rocket on here, which is crazy. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll have to do some top speed tuning in a little bit. It kind of, it, it hits like VTEC or something. It's really weird. Like it, it, like the RPMs, it feels like you're hitting a governor in a 212 and the RPMs like drop down and then you pull more. It's really weird. That could just be because it's like getting too rich or something and it's not tuned properly, but yeah. 50 is really fastest. I'd like to see if we can hit 70 with a smaller sprocket. But we'll have to see. This tank was full when we started. This thing eats gas. That's okay. But this thing's handling is. In, like I've never felt anything like this. It's crazy. It's just like it can turn so tight. It doesn't even make sense. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This thing is insane. 
Am I? I'm, 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 I was screaming. I can't even talk. Look at me, guys. Look at me. I'm shaking. This is insane. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. We don't really know how to tune this thing. It hasn't blown up yet, so we're going to call it a day for right now. But any tuning suggestions, if you think it was running too rich or too lean, put it in the comments. But thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to do a video testing all the different um, pipes here, expansion pipes and all that, see which one's the fastest. We'll also do like a top speed video, but we're going to need a whole lot of road to do that because we're not even reaching. It's still pulling at the end of that road. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. How about that? So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you, Go Power Sports. See you later.